Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm constructing a mezzanine. Here you can see the space. This room is five meters tall, so enough height for an in-between floor. In the 3D model, I can show you the elements. The new wall is a two by four or 44 by 95 millimeter stud wall. The studs are 16 inch or 400 millimeter on center. And on one side, a half inch sheet of OSB and on both sides, plasterboard. The floor have uh, 2 by 6 or 44 by 145 millimeter beams and on top a 3 quarter inch sheet of plywood. The beams touching the walls are bolted and screwed to the walls and the new wall is mounted to the floor as well as the old wall. The wall frame is assembled on the floor and then lifted into place. After that I made mounting preparations to the walls. I also checked with the customer and the previous builder where the structural elements were. Then the receiving brackets could be attached. And these tie into the beam as well as support them. First beam gets bolted to the wall apart from the screw connections to the other timbers. Having a second hand helps things speed up quite nicely. My buddy Jeffrey is helping me. He makes very refined furniture. Visit his website below and go support him. When I was attaching the beams and screws, Jeffrey put all the sheets to the frame. And then we place the plywood on the floor. If I would do this on my own, I use smaller sheets, but it's a lot more controlled and gentle doing this with two persons. The underside of the mezzanine will be bare wood and will be a walk-in closet. So we place the pretty side down. The next step was placing the plasterboards on the wall. This is good for fire safety and rendering the surface flat. Then I could do some, some finishing steps, painting the metal white and covering the rough edges. And then the construction was finished. After this, I did some more work on making the balustrade and the sliding doors, uh, but I could not spend the, the time documenting this as well. But I can show you the results of the total. Thanks for watching.